Everybody gets anxious. It's normal. It's good for you. Like, for example, if you're going to write an exam, you get a little bit of anxiety, and, and, and that's good because what it means is that you have to study harder. Or if you're going out on a date for the first time, it gets a little bit anxious, so you've got to go take a bath and brush your hair and make sure you have a bit of money in your pocket. But sometimes that feeling of anxiety gets just way too much. Sometimes it overtakes your entire life. Sometimes you get anxious for no reason. You like you get a, an attack that's like panic. All of a sudden you can't breathe well. Your fingers go numb. Your heart races really quickly. You think you're going to die or something terrible is happening. Now, when that kind of anxiety comes, it's not helpful. You know, the first kind of anxiety is good. It makes us work harder. It makes us study harder. It makes us practice more if you want to make the sports team or something like that. But that second kind of anxiety, it overwhelms us. It takes over from our lives, and it gets to the point that we can't do what we want. We get to the point that we can't feel good in ourselves. We get to the point in which our lives become this mass of feeling worried, mass of feeling upset. We're having all these panic attacks. And if that happens, then it means that we need some help. Because with the first kind of anxiety, it's good. You can talk to your parents. You can talk to your friends. You can get advice from teachers. Uh, you can learn how to do things that will decrease those anxious feelings. But we have the second kind of anxiety. That really means that something is wrong. That the signals that we should be getting to help us are actually overwhelming us. So that the signals that should be creating good things in us are creating problems in everyday life. When we get those kind of signals of anxiety, talking to your friends is good, but it won't take them away. Talking to your parents is good, it won't take them away. Talking to your teachers is good, but won't take them away. What you need then is to get help from your parents to get help from your teachers, to find somebody like a doctor, a nurse, a psychologist, who knows how to help you with those kinds of intense feelings of anxiety. And they can. There are lots of good things that can help you. The person that has to take charge of that, however, is you. If you're feeling that overwhelmed, talk to your teacher. Talk to your parents. Go see your family doctor. They're there to help.